How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about static methods in JavaScript classes. So basically a static method um, is a method which you define on a class but it is not actually part of the instantiated object um, once it's been created. So basically a static method does not require an instance of um, the class to be created in order to be used. So um, a lot of static methods are um, what's called helper methods. So they're like little utilities that are relevant to that class, but not really, um, you know, that don't have a an object bound to them. So let's just see with an example. Um, I'm going to define a new class here, and we'll go with the um, the standard square example. So a class of of square, and um, for the constructor. Let's just take in a width, and the width will be assigned um, as per usual to the um, sort of width and height instance properties. Let's just say constructor, and we'll say this dot width is equal to um, that width parameter, and this dot height is also equal to um, that width parameter. So now we have a um, a square class with a constructor. So now let's just create an instance of this square. So down here. Let's create a new variable here and call this one square one equal to a new square passing in a width of let's just say eight. Okay, so now we have this this square. So if I also just console.log um, this square in the console, save this and refresh the browser, in the console we get obviously a square width of eight and height of eight. So now um, let's create a static method on this square class that's basically um, going to compare two square instances and then um, let us know if they are of equal width and height. So in here let's define a static method. We can do this by first typing out the keyword static followed by the name of the method. So let's just say um, uh, uh, maybe equals equals okay something like that right equals and then uh, this method here will take in two parameters or two arguments now uh, the first one being obviously a square and the second one being another square let's just say a and b so a and b are two different square instances all right and the equals static method is going to check the width and height of these two squares and then give us um, the result if they are equal or not equal so Let's just um, let's just return. Then use the ternary operator. Let's just say um, return um, if a dot width um, times a dot height is equal to b dot width times b dot height. Um, then return true. Actually, let's just let's just return that. So now we're going to return the result of this expression or this comparison here. If the area of the first square is equal to the area of the second square, um, obviously just return um, return that comparison result. So now this method should work. Um, let's test this out. I'm going to create um, another square here, square two, with a width and height of nine. So we have two different areas for these two squares. And then down here, I'm going to console.log the um, the return value of this equals static method. And I actually call a static method, um, you call it directly on the actual square class itself and not on um, a square instance. Let's just type out square here and then dot equals, okay? And here we're going to um, pass in square number one and square number two. Okay, so now, if I was to save this and refresh the browser window, in the console we get false, because uh, here clearly the area of A is different to the area of B. If I was to make um, the area the same, make them both 8, okay, so 64 here and 64 here for the area, save and refresh this one, we get true. So we can see how we've used a static method here. Now this static method doesn't require an instance um, for it to work. It does in the regard of the actual parameters, um, but 
um, the actual method itself doesn't ever say this dot this or you know this dot area so there's never any um, I guess referrals to the actual this keyword okay so there's no instance binded to this static method um, probably a better example of this um, would be maybe a static method that will uh, test whether or not um, a width and height is a valid square so for a square to be valid it needs to have an equal width and an equal height okay so let's just create a new static method down here and call this one something like is valid uh, maybe is valid dimensions okay this takes in a width and a height so now this this static method is technically relevant to the square class so we're checking if a square is valid um, or a dimensions is valid based on the width and height so if the width and height are the same then it can be a valid square let's just return here let's just return um, the result of um, a condition if the width is equal to the height then it is a valid square so let's just return width equal to height that comparison result right there so now um, down here again if I was to just console.log here console.log and then say once again calling the square class um, directly and saying is valid dimensions and passing in something like um, 6 and 6 inside there if I was to save this and refresh the browser we actually get true okay because obviously um, 6 is equal to 6 so we get the return value of true here if I was to make this um, 7 and 6 well um, we should get false in the console refresh and we get false okay so um, static methods are used um, for I guess helper helper functions so um, they're still relevant to the actual class but they don't actually require an instance of that class to work in fact if I was to just get rid of these two guys right here okay save and refresh we still get the same result there's no error or anything so you can see how um, it's sort of like a helper function all right and that's how you can use static methods uh, in classes in JavaScript thank you for watching and I'll see you later